Antonio, live on the air. Go ahead with your question. Uh, good morning and shalom, Rabbi. And let me say, may the Holy One of Israel uh, bless and restore and renew your father. Um, Thank you. My question is about the uh, apologist Justin Martyr. Is Justin Martyr not having it both ways? In his apology, he's making the argument that the virgin birth, the communion, the resurrection, all of these were demonic imitations of pagan mythologies and Greek mythologies. But then with his conversation with Trifo the Jew, he says that Jesus is the fulfillment of the Hebrew Scriptures, of the Jewish Messiah. But how can Jesus be both? How can he be a imitation of these Greek and pagan mythologies and also happen to fill the Jewish Messiahship? So uh, Antonio is from the smarter ones. He's very bright. And I could tell you that in all my years, no one ever asked that question. So Justin, Justin was a very important church father, second century, mid-second century. Uh, so Justin does not claim that the beliefs in his defense of Christianity, that the beliefs of Christianity that you enumerated, whether it's the Eucharist, all these things, virgin birth come from or are plagiarized from or taken from uh, the pagan world, which they actually were, but that's not exactly what he's saying. In his apology, apology, incidentally, in this context, doesn't mean he's walking around going, I'm sorry, forgive me, I apologize, doesn't mean that. <laughs> it means in his defense of Christianity to a pagan, meaning non-Christian audience, is why should you have such an aversion to the teachings of the church when, in fact, so many of the ideas that are conveyed in Christianity you have in these other pagan religions? So you should feel very much at home in Christianity. So he's not saying that Christianity actually took um, – the word Trinity wouldn't have been invented yet, but he didn't take the Eucharist, didn't take the Virgin. He's not saying they they went to, I don't know, Mithraism and just took the virgin birth or that Alexander the Great was said to be born of a virgin. He's not saying that. He's saying there's a virgin. Jesus actually was born of a virgin, and the source for it is not the pagan religions. So Justin's case rather is, why should – now, it's really very telling that he says this. But in his defense of the Christian religion, he says to a pagan audience that, why are you so bothered by this? As it turns out, in your religions, meaning in the Greco-Roman religions, the word pagan itself – does not actually mean what you think it means. The word pagan is derived from a term word that means people who don't live in the city, people who live in the suburbs. That's what it means. But people who lived in the in the city were usually more, and the pagans were the ones who were in the you know the pagans were somewhere else. But the key is, so he's he's not saying that we actually derive the virgin birth from pagan religions. Rather, his argument is you should not have an aversion to it because, after all, you, the religions of the Greco-Roman world contain these very striking features as, as well. In his um, discourse with Trifo, I don't know if it's real or not. I mean, it, it, it very possibly could be fictitious because he wrote it. We don't have any corresponding text. So there he he's speaking to a Jew. And in general, for Christians, to the Jew, you become as a Jew. When you're speaking to a non-Jew, you become like a non-Jew. You can become all things to all men that you may gain some. Who said that? Someone who lived 100 years before Justin, and that's Paul. In 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 20 through 22. So that was the argument that Justin made. It's very telling because Justin obviously— realize that key striking features of Christianity that are unique are found 
in the pagan world that he was trying to influence. So thank you. That's a very, very, very insightful question. No one's ever asked it before. If you enjoyed this program, please like and subscribe. Adon Thank <laughs> you.